Well guys, it's Tuesday, and as you can see, I'm back in my car, and my chair, one of those rickety chairs, is, well, it's still in the, still in the car. Uh, I just don't know when I'm gonna have time to renovate them. I've added it to my list to do today, but I just don't have time this week. I was supposed to go see my granddad today, but I've got so much work on at the moment. I'm working with Amazon, and I'm working with Shark at the moment, and there's a lot of content I need to do for both. Obviously, I'm posting lots on my own channel. I've got lots of things in the works on my own channel as well that you guys don't see, like working behind the scenes, scheduling sort of the rest of the year, content plan-wise, plus all the John Lear stuff. I'm supposed to be seeing my friend Chris tomorrow, who's flown over from Australia. You'll have known him from the Barcelona vlogs and the Lisbon vlogs. So he's coming to visit, so I need to see him tomorrow. I need to get a haircut because the blogosphere awards are on Thursday. I think I've already run through this with you, but basically I'm like, my hairdresser is all fully booked, so I'm like, where am I going to go? And I need to sort out my outfit because it's super glam, and as you guys know, I don't wear glam things. Quite a lot to do, and uh, I'm going to the gym now, which I know some of you might go, if, you, if you're busy, why are you going to the gym? But the gym is like a priority for me. That is one kind of non-negotiable, unless something really important comes up, but mostly like the gym and walking over are the two things that I have to do every day. But anyway, first things first, let's get to the gym, but I need to call my mum back because I've got a missed call from her. Right, I've done the gym and guys, you know I told you in another clip that I've just been buying loads of antique books. I've just realised I didn't tell you about that. I told my members about that in the latest members only video. I've basically spent a lot of money on antique books again. I've just been adding to my collection, anyway. Well, I bought three more, not antique books, but just regular books. Basically, I, it started at the butcher, would you believe? <laughs> After the gym, I was like, oh, I need to get Ava some liver, some lamb's liver, lamb's heart, because I want to cook her. Basically, I want to film a video of me baking Ava dog treats. And so I'm starting with this first one that requires lamb's liver or lamb's heart. So I tried the supermarket last week and they were like, oh, we're all out, but we should get some tomorrow. But I didn't have time to go back. So I was like, oh, I'll try the butcher now. And they said they were all out as well. So I'm like, who is buying lamb's liver? Who's buying lamb's heart? Like who? Anyway, I think I'm gonna do the recipe, but with tuna. Anyway, and then I walked past an Oxfam charity shop, and I thought I'd have a look to see if there was any antique books in there, and there were, but they were behind a glass case, and so I couldn't really get a good look, and I did ha try to have a look, but there was nothing that tickled my fancy, but I had a look at some modern books, and I bought three, and this cost me £7.50, so what, like $10. Uh, I got one called Putney. I think is about consent, but weirdly, it doesn't really have a blurb, it just has reviews, but the reviews say it's about the meat to movement and stuff and sexual consent so I might think that will be interesting um, and then I bought two thrillers which are my favorite genre of books so this is called The Missing Girl and this is apparently about a girl whose uh, sister died when she was a child and she moved away ran away from home um, due to the grief and then years later her mum has died so she moves back to the house to sort out all the belongings and while she's sorting out all the belongings she discovers some truths about maybe what happened to her sister because she mysteriously died. So that will be quite good, and it's quite a thin one as well, which is good, which won't take me too long. This is a bit thicker, and this is called Part of the Family, and as far as I know, it's a thriller about a woman who has her entire life together, married her childhood sweetheart, got a great job, two kids, lovely house, um, but that there's a dark secret to be uncovered. So I thought that was good. Anyway, I don't know why I'm buying books. like. Like, in terms of these ones, I've already bought two new books the other week, and I'm starting to read. I'm reading The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo at the moment, but I'm a very, very slow reader, so it's taking me a while. I just keep adding things onto my plate, don't I? When I'm, I'm busy, and yet I went to a charity shop to buy books. I'm busy, yet I got two chairs that I want to start renovating. I'm busy, yet, you know, all these things that I'm doing, I need to stop. Anyway, does anyone else get grossed out about second-hand books, because I do. Um, I'm gonna have to give them a wipe down when I get home to get rid of germs. I stopped to get a coffee as well at Gale's afterwards. I got a flat white with oat milk, absolutely love it. Do you know what? The other day I had the most stunning flat white with oat milk I've ever had. It was from Cafe Nero, which is a big chain here in the UK, and, and so you wouldn't think it would be anything special. The aftertaste was so, like, charcoal -y and burnt, and it was amazing, and I was thinking, is this the type of coffee? Is this the blend? 
Or maybe you hear about people talking about when baristas accidentally burn coffee and it not being a good thing. I wonder whether they burnt the coffee and if so, I loved it. It just had this aftertaste that was just so good and it was so good that I didn't want to eat or drink anything for about an hour afterwards because I was like, I just love this burnt taste in my mouth. Gross, isn't it? But still, I absolutely loved it. So yeah, this one isn't as good, but maybe this is how it's supposed to taste. Anyway, let's get home. Hey guys, welcome back to my car. Um, so today's actually a really exciting day because I'm seeing Chris. Sadly, he moved to Australia earlier in the year and he's back. He's been back for over a week now, uh, back up north in Manchester where he was, well, not where he was from, but where he used to live. And then he's been to Greece in Athens, I believe, from his social media. And he's now in London visiting his London friends. So we've had a bit of a misunderstanding where he thought we were spending the whole day together. I thought we were spending a couple of hours together um, because I've got lots to do before the Blogosphere Awards tomorrow. However, we've, we've worked it out. Um, I'm driving now to my local station to collect him we're gonna go for brunch and then if we have time we might jump in the car come back to my house pick up Ava and go for a dog walk um, so yeah I'm really excited to see him on the corner here there is uh, police officers or community support officers um, speed testing people with a gun we got a note through the door yesterday to say they were doing this workshop thing uh, where residents on my street could come and learn how to use a speed gun so holding it and it's just so funny watching them hold these guns at cars and they're noting down number plates of anyone who's speeding and so many people speed down this road. It's a 20 miles per hour limit. People speed down here all the time so it's just amazing watching everyone like slow down. There was a motorbike that didn't see them, sped down and they got him um, and I just stared at him because I was waiting to get in my car. I just looked at him and he just went... <laughs> with his helmet on um, So I don't know why I find other people's misfortune funny I think it's because they shouldn't be speeding and I hate it I hate this road because of everyone speeding down it. I'm like there's families here. There's children. There's dogs There's a park one side houses the other like be careful Stop talking Joel. It's time to go guys. We've arrived at brunch. Here he is Here I am. Oh. All the way from Australia. Yeah, just for me <laughs> Yeah, for the half an hour you'll spend. For these half an hour. I'm joking, it's not half an hour. We've got a few hours. He's livid, guys, and he's not even tanned. You call yourself an Australian. <laughs> anyway, I won't um, keep shoving the camera in your face. Just want to show that this is Chris and we're reunited. He still exists. Oh, Ava! Ava! He's so excited. <laughs> Good girl. Good girl, you're reunited. Good girl. <laughs> I've just gotten this parcel from my managers, from Kat and Meg. Oh, this is so cute. Um, I have no idea what's in there, but let's open it up. I mean, they said in the card, it's an early birthday present. So my birthday is currently Thursday. My birthday is on Sunday. So I figured, like, no, I'm leaving today and I won't be back home in London until next Tuesday. So I figured maybe I'll open it now. So I'll open it live on camera, lovely wrapped. <gasps> Oh, snacks! Oh my gosh, my favorite presents are edible presents. Hamper Lounge. Okay, what have we got in here? <gasps> Prosecco popcorn. That's crazy. I cannot wait to try that. What have we got in here? Some English shortbread with lavender. Lovely. Oh, I've seen these before. The, this, I feel like I've seen these before. That looks delicious. Oh my gosh, such bougie snacks. And then what have we got in here? We look like we've got some sort of jam. Let me open those. Some damsons with brandy jam. That sounds really cool. And then we've got some rhubarb gin liqueur, which rhubarb flavor stuff is one of my favorite flavors. So I cannot wait for this. Thank you guys. I'm gonna send them a message now. You know what? Cause it's my early birthday. I'm gonna try the lavender shortbread cause I am hungry and I was gonna make breakfast, but instead I'm gonna have a biscuit. Oh, they smell really lavendery. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Yum. Love it. There's no better breakfast than biscuits for breakfast. Hey guys, look at this. This is a t-shirt Lucy got me for my birthday. So it says, I don't want to go big. I want to go home. <laughs> Which is so me. I love it. It's the first time I'm wearing it as well. So it's like got that new t-shirt feel. Anyway, 
This is an outro. Basically, I was editing this vlog together on a train and it was like 35 minutes long. So I was like, no, I'm gonna divide it into two. So you'll get another vlog very, very soon about the Blogosphere Awards, about Leah and I winning the Blogosphere Awards. Uh, spoiler. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the, sorry guys, you need to look at this. I put way too much oil in the pan to cook my chicken sausages. It's a spray oil and I screwed off the top because it was nearing the end and poured it because I thought it was like the dregs and it came rushing out and I was like, oh my gosh. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Also, thank you so much to my members for all the lovely comments on my latest members only vlog. It's really fun doing the members only vlogs. I really, really enjoy it and I appreciate each and every one of you uh, for being members and choosing to support me in that way. To everyone else, also, thank you. I love the fact that you've watched this video and leave me a comment down below. I'll try to reply to as many of you as possible. I'm trying to make it a bit of a new thing where I'm like, you know, you know what? I'm going to sit down. Well, every morning I do sit down and go through the comments anyway. I'm like, I'm going to try and make a concerted effort to reply to as many people as possible. So yeah, leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you are. And that is it. See you guys next time. Bye.